Hey everyone, welcome back to our Deep Dive series, where we scrutinize the latest in gaming to bring you the most comprehensive insights. Today, we're dissecting the buzz around Rise of the Ronin, Team Ninja's latest endeavor, as we edge closer to its release. With the game drawing comparisons to titles like Ghost of Tsushima, let's explore whether it's time for Team Ninja to revisit their roots. Rise of the Ronin is Team Ninja's fresh take on the open-world RPG genre, set in the twilight years of Japan's Edo period. Announced with fanfare during Sony's State of Play, this game promises a blend of historical narrative and expansive gameplay. But as early previews roll in, there's a mixed bag of feedback that suggests a moment of introspection for the famed developers. Previewers have spent hours in this meticulously crafted world, and their verdicts are intriguing, albeit slightly underwhelming. Descriptions range from it being a well-trodden path in the open-world genre to comparisons with Assassin's Creed, suggesting a familiar gameplay experience that lacks the distinctive Team Ninja flair. Notably, critiques highlight a sense of deja vu, evoking parallels to existing samurai-themed games but missing a unique spark. Ralph from Skillup commented on the game's conventional approach, likening it to Far Cry Japan, pointing out that while the combat system retains some complexity, it feels significantly pared down from Team Ninja's usual innovative standards. Liam Croft of Push Square noted the game's ambition, but remained unswayed by its initial hours, suggesting that while the game is good, it hasn't yet shown the greatness expected from a Sony-backed title. Blessing at Yoijiar, from Kinda Funny expressed disappointment over the game's lack of a distinct personality, emphasizing that its current form feels interchangeable with other open-world titles set in feudal Japan. Team Ninja, renowned for their Ninja Gaiden and Neo series, is at a crossroads. Their recent projects, including Wo Long, Fallen Dynasty, have been successful yet haven't captured the groundbreaking essence of their earlier hits. This begs the question, should Team Ninja pivot back to their innovative roots, embracing the unique, edgy, and intricate designs that define their legacy? As Rise of the Ronin nears its official release, the gaming community is left pondering whether the final product will surprise us with the depth and innovation we've come to expect from Team Ninja. Will this title reinforce their reputation for groundbreaking games, or will it be a sign for the studio to reevaluate their direction and possibly return to the drawing board, embracing the spirited creativity of their storied past? So, what's your take on Rise of the Ronin? Is it the next big hit for Team Ninja, or a sign that they need to revisit their foundational strengths? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more in-depth gaming analysis. Stay tuned, and as always, keep gaming!